All right, rain or shine, John, cold or warmth, it is time for another edition of our Community Gems segment every Friday at 5.30 here on Erie News Now. And tonight we're taking you to a top place listed on TripAdvisor when you look up a place to eat in Erie County. It's a business that started in the late 1940s and is still going strong. And there is a new owner that took over about a year ago. She is vested. Here's why. Food is what brings people into this decades old diner. Thank you very much. It's a meeting place holding very special meaning. So we stop in to see if there are any cousins uh, in the diner, in addition to the great food and the great people. Patrick Crotty and his wife frequent the Lawrence Park Diner on Main Street in Lawrence Park. The restaurant is on the National Register of Historic Places. It was made in Patterson, New Jersey. They brought it here and they put it down in the full foundation. And it was never a train car. It was fabricated in Patterson, New Jersey to be a diner. And it has been just a gem in this city ever since. And a gem for Heather Zuber. She's worked at the diner since high school and is now the person behind a sought after homemade soups and pies made on site. The previous owners she worked for also became her in-laws. Very exciting to meet my husband here at the diner. Um, it holds a very special place in my heart. The third and new owner is Don Van Scoder, who didn't hesitate when asked what the most popular menu item is. Our Greek sauce, we never freeze our burgers. They're made fresh daily. We work from the highest quality and freshest ingredients that we possibly can. Don's dad had always dreamed to own a diner with his daughter. Now she's seeing that into reality and honoring his love of classic cars with adding events at the Lawrence Park Diner, like the first ever classic car show over the summer. Don, who is known for being on the reality show Undercover Billionaire for her work at her other decor business in Northeast, is bringing some flavor from other businesses to the diner like the signature coffee blend coming from The Bean in Northeast and other items sold at the diner too, like her candles and gear with a new look. But she wants to honor the ambiance of this longtime breakfast and lunch location and is working with the Lawrence Park Historical Society. And I'm working on getting true, vintage, antique, eerie, centric, local nostalgia. The history, the customers, and the staff are crucial to what this business is. And while it's important to maintain the nostalgia inside, outside, well, this is one of the newest additions, an outdoor patio area that will reopen in the spring. And for people who can't get out to the Lawrence Park Diner in the morning or afternoon when it closes, Don is working on starting a supper club. Mmm, is that yummy? at this community gem, honoring legacy and continued memories being made. <laughs> Such good food there on the menu. You'll definitely have to go out and try it if you haven't already. The pies, we want to tell you about those pies. There's a lot of them even. There's one that's gluten-free as well. Uh, Heather making all of them, the soups too, but uh, those pies are available. If you want to order some for the holiday, just go ahead and give the Lawrence Park Diner a call.